All right. Um, so a recap. You guys uh, ran into a couple of mole people and uh, learned that one of them seems to be in some sort of dream state or coma or something of the sort. And you said you'd be back to help him. And then you left. And then you guys got to spring and found out that there's a tower that is the source of the freezing cold in the area. And you learned that the people of spring are not equipped for this kind of weather. So it's quite unusual. And you felt that uh, going to the tower was the next best thing to do. So it seems. <laughs> so you guys had traveled uh, to the entrance of the tower. It took you about a day and um, I'm sure you guys camp before you arrive to the tower and you are at the entrance. Uh, cool. What is what does the tower, the tower look tower like? Does it look uh, at anything special? Um, yes, actually. If you examine it, the stone seems to be similar to that stone that supposedly only mole people and ox with hammers uh, can meld. Hmm. And when you peer up, it doesn't appear to have any windows. That's different than the other towers, isn't it? I remember um, the one in the desert was just like normal stone or something. Yeah, the material of the towers were all kind of different, but yeah. And spring was afflicted by an unnatural winter that's coming from the tower. Yeah, you think so, because there seems to be an awful lot of uh, white, puffy, wintry uh, snow up there. Kind of just like a fog. Is there a door? Is the the path lead up to a door? Uh, yes. You guys oh. get up to some doors, and uh, they are stone doors. The the same special stone that the tower is made out of. Weren't we told about a guardian here? The townsfolk were talking about a guardian, or am I misremembering that? Yes. There was something in the tower, or up on the tower. Or they talked about like, oh, like, like the guardian wouldn't be too happy seeing you or something like that. I do remember mm. that too. Right. <laughs> um. Shall we knock politely? Yeah, couldn't hurt. I will rap on the door. Okay. Uh, There's no uh, so... tapping that I hear. Yeah. Rapping on my chamber door. Never Just more. an adventurer. And nothing but more. you can wait as long as you feel like it. Nothing seems to answer. Okay. There's no like bell pull or anything like that, right? No. It's just... Any um any words or anything on the door? Indications like doormats that say go away or anything? <laughs> you guys can roll a perception, um, but hmm. right now you don't see any any words on the door, no symbols. There's not even really door handles. You just know that they're doors because, well, it, it, that's there's a slit there, and you think they slide, but. Yeah. Hmm. Actually, that was a good point. Maybe we could have Guru 
look over everything, give it the old ones over. <laughs> Are you sure there's doors here? I mean, I see a stone wall, but I'm not convinced. <laughs> The group must think Eric's is trapped. stupid or something. <laughs> Not stupid, just blind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Gigi, you see a secret uh, hidden... It looks like a button. Oh. Uh, I press the button. Why not? <laughs> you Bold. press the button and the doors yep. open. He pressed the button. Aha. Uh, okay. Let's see. Aaron Axis is like, wow, how'd you make the wall open? That's a powerful spell you got there. You, I'm going to put you guys on an image. Ooh. You open the doors to a hall with uh, what could only be ever-burning torches and another door, but this time the door is wooden. Hmm. I'll carefully move forward, unless Guru wants to uh, take a look no, before we enter. No. Okay. Go ahead. I will check for traps the barbarian way. Fair enough. You go forward. I mean, it's a hallway. There's no way it's trapped. When we get to the door, I'll look at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Halls are never In trapped. Inconceivable. All right. You get to the door. Um, uh, I guess I might as well not <laughs> while he's doing that. I try and find any traps on the door. You don't think there are traps on the door. Cool. There's probably other traps, but I only look at the door. I'll listen to see if I can hear somebody stomping around on the other side. Nope, it's all clear. You you don't hear anything other than what's in the room or hall you're in. Then I am going to quickly check to see what spells I have prepared before I open the next door. Okay. We did rest, you said, right? Uh yeah, yeah, you're you guys can have fresh everything. Okay. You have temp health right now, I know you probably re upped that. Yes. That's probably left over from yesterday. Yeah, probably. Um, okay, it uh, looks like I have all of... Yeah, okay, sorry. All my prep spells are prep. I shall open the door without further ado. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go down the line. Uh, Friend, roll me a percentage. Okay, you open the door, and it's another hall, just like this one, but in the hall, you see something, and it sees you, and you guys can all roll initiative. And it I will describe, yeah. Um, also, we're going to have combat on this map, so let me just... Uh, give ourselves a little grid there. I mean, shrunk time. down to tiny size, and now we're flying around the hallway. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh... Okay. Uh, what you see is a hideous monstrosity crafted from body parts stitched together with thick string wire and metal staples uh, lurching to horrific life. Neat. Mm, it's unnatural. It's unnatural. Okay, do we have everybody? One, two, oh, three. Oh, hi. Oh, okay. All right. This is a Frankenstein, it sounds like. It's undead. Round one. Aranax. Doesn't look undead to you, but who knows? That is body parts. Is is there are a knowledge I can roll? Or do I recognize it at all? Uh, Arcana. Okay. Oh yeah, this is just a flesh golem. Uh, just. No big deal. Um, you know that it's gonna be immune to magic. <laughs> and Yay! Adamantine to get past this DR. Some of you guys have adamantine weapons um, or the like. It has construct traits, which, uh, you know, you can't really break its mind or anything like that. And then um, you think that this one might be able to go berserk, um, which is. Uh, Something. It's it's something. It's, it's, <laughs> something. it's something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll we'll see when I get when we get to it. I am less than enthusiastic about this. Um, let me yes, quickly go through faster. my list of things that will not hurt it. I have uh -huh. zero spells that will hurt it. This might. Let me just take a quick look here, and then I will progress. This Question. Is why glitter dust is always something you bring. <laughs> uh, dragon breath. Is that SR yes? Uh, dragon breath is supernatural, isn't it? I don't. I don't know. If I turn into dragon, Does it, say it should SU work then. Next to it. I don't know. I I'll look, look since I'm already on the sheet. <laughs> All right. I'm pretty because... sure it's not a spell. I'm pretty sure it's super Well, Form of the Dragon is a spell. Yes. Right, but, but the Dragon Breath itself. Form of the Dragon. Well, the spell says SR no anyways. Uh, I don't know. Because there's nothing on here that says, like, the Dragon Breath is this effect it just says you have a breath attack that does it'll damage. say dragon breath su or sp no no, no it doesn't or have EX. that if you look up i mean dragon. not on the spell at least yeah i, I think it's you dragon, have to look up yeah. the dragon so it's not in the spell but the dragon yeah. it's either extraordinary or supernatural yeah i'm pretty sure it's Probably not a spell so like you, yes technically you should be yeah. able to do okay, that it's, yeah okay all right i have one thing i can do guys <laughs> well, let's see what uh, Aaron actually yes. does. Okay, well, one thing I do have is an <clears throat> exotic metal mace, Ooh. which I'm assuming is a mace, but we'll see. So I am going to... Meander. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe. Maybe this will work. I'll meander up. Um, uh, 10, 15, 20. Not super close. Let's save there. I'll draw, draw my mace while I'm moving. And oh. I am going to cast. 
I just saw it. Oh, there it is. I'm going to cast Grease on the floor to see if I can get it to slip. Oh, man. Okay. I am not super good at this, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I have to target it. I am. Excellent. I will add one arcane point to increase its save DC. <gasps> Did it fall? It fell. Nice. Let's hear it for the grease. Okie dokie. It is prone. Um, I, where's my drawing tool? How big is grease? It's just a 10 foot square, right? Uh, something like that, yeah. Oh, I kind of have a map. There we go. Okay, uh, that is my turn. I'll find out the size of the grease pool while it's on to the next person. Should be 10 foot square. Yeah, I think that's OK, Fox. Uh, it's going to hold its action until after me, so we'll just switch okay. out the initiative order. I'm going to cast Greater Magic Fang so that it has the magic damage or the enhancement for most of the day. OK. I take out my scepter so that it gets bless. And then the fox is going to, let's see, it can charge, right? There's nothing like in front of it. Right. Nothing. It's just a hole. Okay. Then it'll charge the thing and attack it. Okay. It hasn't acted, so it can't provoke. There we go. Grease. Anybody? It's also prone. Huh. <laughs> it is prone. It has the uh, debuff prone, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it hits. All right. It does some damage. Nice. All right, friend. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing as the fox. I'm just going to charge. Um, I actually have a clear shot, although I actually don't need one. <laughs> Aaron, I you want me to stand in front of you? Just, just, just so I can use it. Open? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see here. Um, there should be a charge effect in here, right? Yes. Do you eventually get the ability to change directions while you charge? I know one of the styles. But... Mm, I don't, but okay. I think if I, think if I took it, there's a feat I could take that would let me do it. Mm. Um, if I take the next style feat here, actually, what it, it's weird, it gives me an AoE attack. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, all right, so one attack, dragon style. Um, go for it. Oh, I rolled a one. Oh, shit. Boo. Okay. All right, that's my turn. It's because it's slipping all over grease and it messed you up. Yeah, I wasn't used. I wasn't ready for it to be uh, prone. All right, Gigi. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'll pull out my uh, the light pickaxe that's made of the special material as I move on up. Uh, are these like actual distances or what? Like yeah, I've just been using them as five foot squares. Five ten. All right, I will move up to here and pull out the thing and and then I'll cast shield of faith on myself. Okay. 
Oh wait, I can only move twenty feet. Haha. Uh, I'll move next to Aaron Axis. Cheater! You're a cheater. No, I caught it. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. All right. Well, I am prone. I don't like that. I'm gonna stand up. Uh, wait. He's still on the greased. I have to make a reflex or acrobatics to stand up. I think he can stand up uh, automatically. It's just that if you try to move anywhere on the grease, yeah. you can acrobatics. Is it standing back. up a move action? It's a move action, but it's not a move. Uh... So, yeah. <laughs> okay. It seems like it should be harder to do. All right. Uh, I'm going to stand up, which is going to provoke from friend and fox. Alright, um... You hit. Alright, but it resists some of my damage. Which yeah. Sounds right, because I do not have adamantine. Is Fox gonna take an attack? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, it still has the charge bonus too, technically, since it's not its turn yet. <laughs> nice. All right. It is no longer prone. And it's going to attack. I got two targets. One looks more like it. So it's going to attack it, friend. Okay, I'm going to use one key power to activate mind shield. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, let me just double check things. Okay, right. And it misses. Ooh, I would that would have hit if I hadn't used mind shield. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. All right, round two. Uh, Aaron Axis. Or mental barrier action, I think. That's what it's called. 5, 15, 20. Oh, it looks like it has long arms. Yeah, I have the wrong name on this because mental mind shield's actually different. Yeah, you really. think it probably can reach. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So I can move there without provoking. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do this. Um, all around. Um, okay, I am going to target that, that. You're in range. I don't think boy is in range though. <clears throat> if you're not friends, for we bring our, our causes just, and this abomination shall not stand in our way. <laughs> I do a rallying cry. It's like a little bard effect. Okay. <laughs> Neat. It's, my, it's one of my martyr abilities that I don't get to use very often. And, and then that you I will pass. Yes, that is it. Okay. Uh, boy. I'm going to pull out my shield and move. It's like good hope, I think, right? And then the fox will attack. 
belly and cry. Standard action once per day. Oh, okay. So that's it then. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can shout a cry instilled with the noble sacrifices of your ancestors. Oh, I missed. Everybody within 30 feet okay. that can hear you gains a bonus, which increases at seventh level. Okay, so eventually it's better than good hope. Uh, you can hear you again uh, for a number of rounds equal to half your sorcerer level, minimum one. Oh, okay, so that's also should have gone up. Should last three rounds, not. Hmm, okay. Uh, I'm going to full attack, I guess. Um, we're gonna do a um spinning strike. Um, do I want to fight defensively too? Okay. I don't think I'm gonna fight defensively though. I'm just gonna do, but I'm gonna do a, a defensive spin. So if I hit the first attack, I'll get a plus four dodge bonus. Um. Hopefully I don't roll a one again. Ah, uh, that, no, that's two ones. <laughs> it's an eleven. <laughs> All right, you hit. Okay. Um. Okay, I'll just put that on, and then I'm gonna do my other two attacks as well. Do a full a flesh flurry. punching bag. Uh, looks like I hit with one attack. All right, and uh, oh, five, yeah, I'll five foot step back. Nothing, my turn. Okie dokie, uh, Gigi. Okay, um, I think I'm just gonna try and move up around this thing. Uh, five, ten. I will move over next to Aranaxis. And any other spells I want to cast. I'll cast Bless on the party. Bless won't stack with both the uh, thing we Before you move? Oh, uh, okay. Or after? Uh, well, I'm not going to cast Bless anymore, but... I don't think I really have anything to cast then. So I'll, I'll just, that's fine. I'll just move. I can double move and try and like get around it somehow. Or was I like here? I think. Uh, five, ten. So I'm gonna go like around like that and then move in at the end. Oh, uh, provokes in the square spell, right? Double move. Well, I didn't go through that square. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I went around it. We don't have this thingy way block token, so I can't show the path. Oh. But I went around that square, yeah. If you have the movement to do it, okay. I think so. <laughs> I, it's, I had to count a lot of diagonals. Yeah. Do I have the lock tokens for him? <laughs> it would keep me honest, that's for sure. Uh -huh. So I don't that's have to fine. like. You double move. Yeah, think about it. <laughs> uh... I'm going to slam both Friend and Aranaxis. Holy shit, who'd I crit? Of course you crit me, because why wouldn't you crit the me? You have oh. a fortification of armor or something, though? or? Mm, I, I don't. Oh, okay. I think that was just something we talked about you probably getting eventually. I mean, I do have a blade of barrier on, so this isn't going to hurt quite as bad as it could have. That's good. We'll see. But a crit from the golem is probably still a lot of dice. Okay, that's not bad. It was a big number. Okay, he slams you both, but critically, uh, 
slams Aaron Axis. And, uh. <laughs> Meow Kitty. <laughs> yeah. Go local. I want on the stream too. <laughs> uh, round three, Aaron Axis. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to um, five foot step forward. And uh, see if I can hit him. Mm. Whoa, take that, Gollum. I mean, I didn't confirm, but haha. -ha. <laughs> now, now, yeah, okay, let's see. <laughs> nice. And that's it. All right, uh, boy. Did somebody uh, provoke an attack of opportunity from this thing? Uh, did you want me to? No, you don't have to. I didn't. Well, okay, yeah. Uh, if, if anybody wants me to, just let me know and I will gladly do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a five foot step back over here. Okay. And let's see, Fran has some damage on him. I'll take out my wand and cure light wounds him. There you go. Oh, thanks. And the fox will five foot step here. It's going to attempt to get into a flank with somebody. It knows how to flank. That's going to attack. Um, and bite. I got him. Yes. Sure did. The golem falls. Now it's just a lump of stitched up mass of flesh and just, it's gross on the ground. Mm. On the bright side, have, there's like, closed doors there, I guess we went through too. that already. What? The golem ferocity, we went through that already. Got what? This berserkerness thing? Oh. Yeah, that. That that had like absolutely no relevance. But what a berserking golem is is like <laughs> they have a one percent chance, a accumulative chance to go berserk and just attack the nearest target. Wouldn't have mattered much. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. I, I rolled it, but you no, know, I mean. It can matter more if you're fighting one of these. Okay, I thought it was like an orc ferocity or something. <clears throat> Never mind. It can turn against its enemy or, or its. Uh... Yeah, you turn against its master if you're fighting yeah. it with its master or against like other <clears throat> or something. I guess technically, if you have two of these, they might start beating each other up. Possible, yeah. 
Who would defile the remains of the fallen to create such an abomination? <clears throat> what kind of guardian is this? I don't, I don't feel like this is what the town was talking about. I wonder what they were talking about. <clears throat> I'll examine it closer to see if there's anything in significant about it. <clears throat> okay. Um, you examine it, and the only thing that you can really glean from it, I'll need a knowledge or comment. Yeah. Ah! You think it was made recently. Oh. Do these parts that it's made of all look human? Uh, of all kinds of different races. There's patches okay. of fur here and there. There might be a tail randomly somewhere. Did the villagers ever say anything about people going missing? You guys didn't really ask around the village anything. Okay. We've got to interrogate the villagers more often. <laughs> Drop them into a chair and just throw random questions at them. Who are you? Where are you going? What did you do yesterday? Why were you doing it? What's your name? Who did you see? Good job. <laughs> Hire a secretary. Do you know any her. rumors? Okay, right. let's um, press on. Yeah, so yeah, there's still closed doors in front of you guys, and then the, the doors behind you. Boo. Oh, let's keep getting to the bottom of this. Okay, I'll go check out the next set of doors. Okay. I will look at them for traps. There's nothing I... unusual about the torches, are there? Other than continual flame, like there's no secret doors. You pull one, and the secret door appears. Um, Gigi doesn't see any such secret contraption. Okay. Nor do you. Then I'll open the next set of doors. Y'all are moving your tokens. Well, uh, so do you open the doors or what? <laughs> yes. Sure. Aaron Axis can do it. Okay. Uh, boy, roll me a percentage. Okay. All right, you open the door. And you see it, and it sees you. You guys can roll initiative. It's the chamber of percentile encounters. Oh, yes, and it's another hall as well with a door at the end. <coughs> Super exciting. And this horrific humanoid figure is a mass of bones and skulls tied together with slick ropes of sinew. I'm, I'm getting a feel for the type of guardian that might be watching over this tower here. I'm not sure he's a nice guy. <laughs> um, well, this thing looks undead. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five. All right, round one, Aranaxis. Is this a knowledge skill of some kind? Uh, Arcana. Uh -huh. Oh, much like the creature before, this is also a golem, but just made of bones. I feel like this is an artificer that really, really wanted to be a necromancer. Some things that you know about what this creature might be able to do. It might be able to imprison one person in a cage of bones from a distance. Uh, also, not only do you need adamantine to get past this DR, you also need bludgeoning. You need both in order to bypass it. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Wait, is it a golem again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Okay. This seemed to work last time. I'll move up to here, drawing my uh, adma or my exotic material mace. Okay. And I will drop a arcane point. And we'll try this game from Netflix. <laughs> Which is very good. Yeah. No! All the bony protrusions act as natural cleats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm after Fran again. How convenient. Not yeah, this are... time. Okay, uh, that is it. Although, if it moves, it needs to. If it moves through the grease, it needs to make an acro acrobatic. Uh huh. Okay. Fran. Uh... Um, I think I might just charge again. Although, could try to force it to move too. I kind of like forcing it to try to move. Um, <coughs> so I'll move up. Next to Aaron Axis, I'll activate Dragon Style as well. But um, I think I'm just going to come up here and then um, maybe even come up a little bit closer and I'll take a total defense. Ah, uh, uh, GG. Um, so what what were you saying last time, Pluto? You said Bless wouldn't work because we already had something else, but I, was that... Yeah, but that's well, gone now. It's gone now, although okay. I, there's an effect on me which shouldn't be there, actually. But I will cast Bless on the party, then. And I think Fox already has it. Yeah. There's only very few things I can do. Especially, yeah, this one needs bludgeoning, too, so I don't think I can do too much. I can go be a tank. I'll cast that, and I'll move up 20 feet. And okay. I'll look all menacing. Grr. Box, cage me. I dare you. All right. Well, it looks like all I have to do is... Hmm. I guess if it has a ranged attack, my plan doesn't mm -hmm. work. Eh, whatever. I'm not sure if this is set up. Of course it's not. It's going to, let's see, what is this?
Aaron Axis. Um, yep. It sees at you approaching, and it's going to range touch attack you. Uh, and that hits, and there's these bones that start forming up from underneath you and cage you, and you're now stuck within a cage of bones. Okay. Dang it, I want to be caged. I have an adamantine key on me. Let us see if that opens the lock. <laughs> Would that be a pickaxe? My mace. Oh, okay. Although it's true, your pickaxe is pretty good too. All right. It may probably be better for bashing bars. Um, I'm going to start casting a uh, summon monster or summon nature's ally for. We're going to get some boars up in here. Boar okay. boys. Boars. And fox. Uh, help free Aaron Axis move up to him and then attack the bones. <laughs> he gnaws on a bone. Yar, yar. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you can target it for any attacks, and uh, that will hit. Okay. It'll do some damage to the bones. Uh, yes, let me, um... Okay, and then round two, Aranaxis. Um, am I restrained or bound by these bones or uh, can I just act normally? <clears throat> um, uh, each round cage the combat maneuver to do the slam damage. Do, do, do. Let's see here. Target can't escape the grapple normally, so it's a grapple. Oh, it's a grapple. Oh, oh, oh okay. <clears throat> That's a little more serious then. Yeah, let me throw that on you. Okay. Um, so I'm not casting spells then. And I'm probably never going to... Darn. I wish uh, I should have greased myself now. Yeah, so you can try to escape the grapple or attack the bones that are grappling you. I guess attacking the bones would be the best option. Um, you said just target the, the monster? Uh, yeah, for the attack. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so you hit it and go ahead and untarget it when you jam it. Done. All right, uh, because Fox was um, gnawing at the bones earlier, or I guess technically this same six seconds, perhaps, uh, yeah. <laughs> you break free and you're wow. no longer grappled. Nice. Yep. High five, Fox. Woo. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm That's done. Your turn, yeah, unless you want to move, I guess. Uh, that's true. I do have a move. I don't know how often I can do that, so, um... Let me just... Okay, I just, uh, I'm going to go here, okay. which will provoke. Yes, and it will take a slam. Oh, well, I'm going to use a swift action uh, to bring up a an arcane barrier. 
No, because I still have my. Okay, never mind. I don't do that because okay. temporary hit points don't stack. I got. I'll just soak the hit. Uh, it, Ooh, it almost. Okay. All right, friend. All right. Uh, I don't know if it has <laughs> combat reflexes, so I'm going to acrobatics just in case. Um, so if that beat at CMD, then. No attacker in You get anyway. over there without getting attacked. Okay. I don't know if it's because it doesn't have combat reflexes or if I rolled high enough, but we're going to do one attack. Um, and before I do, I'm going to use a swift action to um, use Draconic Fury. So my fists are wreathed in acid. Okay. Oh, Aww. Good. oh I forgot to put the flank bonus in. Uh will that make it twenty one? Yeah. Twenty one meats. Okay. My bad. Should have put that in initially. Um Okay. I don't know if Okay, it looks like the acid worked. Okay, cool. And that'll be it. That'll be it for my turn. Okay. Uh, GG. Um, yeah, I'm as useful as ever. I'm, um, mosey on up. time will shine at some point. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll, uh, move on up and, uh, hmm. What what to do for a standard action? <laughs> this won't work, but I'll intimidate it. Ah, uh, yeah, it doesn't have a mind. I I actually have nothing better to do. So ha ha yeah, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Gigi's crazy. All right. I mean, I guess I get ready in action in case it like moves next to me to attack it, but yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> Hmm. There's three targets. All right. It's gonna slam both Aranaxis and Friend. Okay. It raises both its fists into the air and then slams down at both of you guys. Uh, looks like I hit. Yeah. And then... It lurches forward and bites at GG. Yeah. Oh, maybe I should take enough total defense then, dang. Ah, but it misses. Yeah, I have high AC right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, boy, you have some boars. How many boars do we yes, have? Yes, we're going to find out. Because it's, it's going to be 1d3 plus 1. We got Ooh. the full squad. Whole pack of boars. Yep. It's a boar pile. <laughs> it's the boar pile. The hogs of war. Let's see. We're going to have one here. And one here. And one here. And one here, because I think that's within 45. Yeah. All 
Oh. Sorry, they're... It's not one, two, three, four. No. That's sorry. fine. <laughs> Who are we missing here? That was That's four, one. three through six. Yeah, the like They're fighting on in memories four. of four, <laughs> one, and two. <laughs> yeah. Four, one, and we'll, two is no longer coming to the party. We'll never, we'll never forget you. They said no to the summon. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. They're going to start attacking just as soon as they finish putting these buffs on them. And they get the bless because I have my scepter out. And they are my summoned creatures. Okay. Let's start attacking. Yep, Boar's attack. So Boar 6 has a flank with Aaron Axis. So let's get that one out of the way first. <laughs> the mighty golem is bored to death. Yes. Bam, take that. Uh, let's see. The other boars should just be regular attacks, I think. With no flanking. All right, so those miss. Uh, I'll take the rest of my turn moving up here. And then the fox is going to charge on its turn. Might provoke. Ah, uh, yeah, that will provoke. Let me give it its mobility. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, I'll hit. All right. Take some damage. Here comes its attack. That's a hit. And damage. Alright. Did Boy take his turn after the summon? Yeah, I did. I moved. Okay. Round three. Air next. I will smack the golem. Mm. Like, take your glove off and smack it? Yes. Drop a challenge. A duel between you and me. I mean, no. Wait. <laughs> ah, all these boars. They threw me off. All right. What foul magic is this? I guess they're not foul. They're boars. But poor sign magic. What is natural this. magic is this? God damn it. Uh, I'll five foot step there. Okay. Fran. Uh. Oh, I guess it's a matter if I take my five foot step now or later, but I do want to give Boar 3 a flank. Um, I'm going to full attack, I think. I'll do a defensive spin for the first attack, too. Um, all right. right. And then two more attacks. Whoops, let's put the flank in. Be smart about this. Uh, two misses. Oh. And I'll five foot step to help four three. Okay. GG. Um, 
it seems I cannot get in to do anything. <laughs> like, I can... If I move through my ally's square, can he attack? Because I have, like, cover. Mm, I mean, when you were going well, through you the square, you saw him know. attack after his turn earlier. Oh, okay. So but he you probably don't doesn't know have his whether or not it's your choice. To uh, whatever, I have a hazy. I'll move in and try and... Okay, attack. it does not attack you. I'll, uh... I'll aid Aranaxis, actually. With an attack roll. Okay. For, yeah, plus two to hit. Oh, um, thank you. Where's that Bhutan here? It's just like a melee attack do I do, or I roll yeah. my weapon attack? Melee attack. Uh, But, like, okay, so if I'm using, like, my quarter staff to do it, would I get the masterwork plus one from that? believe so yeah i think it's just a regular attack okay. yeah with it's, whatever you're with using whatever weapon you got, uh, i yeah. think i aid yeah all good considering i would have done 1d4 minus <laughs> one bludgeoning damage i think the aid action is better than trying to attack for damage oh um okay huh many options There's a lot of boars, but I think they all missed, so... Some of them got through. At one of them, one of them did. did hit, yeah. Now this one over here... has been beating me up. No, oh, he missed his last round. Hmm. This golem practices a zero bullying policy. Zero tolerance. All right. Boars are annoying, but it's going to um, slam both Frand and Aranaxis. And it looks like I hit Aranaxis. Yep. And then it's going to follow up with a bite on you, Aranaxis. And hit. Okay. All right. Boy and the boars. Yep. And fox. Let's not forget fox. All right. So it looks like... How many of these boars have flanks? Three... Three and six have flanks, yeah. I don't think five flanks with Aranaxis, or is that a flank? No, five the, is a flank. Yeah, the dagger. So just three it. and six. So let's get those two out of the way first. Got some damage, nice. And then we'll do three. Nice. See, these boars are... They're piling up. <laughs> Bet you he'd wished he'd taken whirlwind attack now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did not install... Intelligence to get whirlwind attack. No, that's, that's true. That's like one of the worst parts about it is that you need like a decent amount of intelligence to take it. The prerequisites are brutal compared to what it yeah. actually does. Alright, so that's it for the boars. Okay. Uh, as for me... Hmm. Uh, I'll just... Move around here. Or we can take care of the fox first. Uh, the fox is not flanking with anybody. So we'll just attack. 
Ooh, another 19. I need to get proof critical for this thing. All right. All right, we'll just say a uh, boy, he cheers on the animals. <laughs> All right. I was almost expecting him to turn into a boar and join the fray. He mm. could, but he's like, all right, they got it. Round four, Aaron Axis. Okay. I am going to... I get two from the flank and two from the assist. All right. Uh -huh. All right, you hit. Can't take damage like this forever. <laughs> I'm uh, going to throw up an arcane barrier. Okay. For some temporary hit points. And I'm done. Easy peasy. Friends. All right. Uh, I'm just going to full attack, I think. Um, we'll do a defensive spin again to start off with. And I have a flank. He hit. Boom. It's dead. Ah. The bones fall to pieces. Got it. I'll sift through the rubble and see if I can deter discern anything from this corpse. We'll dismiss the boars. And thank them for their service. Uh... There's nothing special, Aranaxis. Okay. I need to get water over your back. Okay. Man, my false lives have just not been been good here. False life? Yeah, I've been rolling ones, ones and twos. Oh. Uh, let's see. So, how long does the bless last? Um, it's rounds, so it would be gone. Okay. I can get rid of that. But if we find another golem, we're gonna have more of that. Um, I'll start healing people, as well. I'll have the boars on the ready. Uh, Shield of faith is tens of minutes, I think. No, it's minutes. Bless One minute. Minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm back. Oh, bless his minutes? Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to be gone by the time we get to the next um, fight anyways. Boris, um, poof away after uh, some time. What do you guys do? You notice that the door that you guys have been passing through uh, had closed behind you during the fight? And uh, the no. door in front of you. That's disconcerting. I will Wait, toss this heal at your nexus. The door's closed? Yeah. I mean... Thank you. One more. We weren't planning on Oops, going out until we're done there. here. <laughs> um, do you know how many wounds you had? The 19 that you did on your first roll would have cleared me up. Oh, that's on the completely. second roll. But yeah. Oh, uh, the 13 then, I would have had... Well, no, no, it was 11 and then it was 19. 
Okay, so yeah, the 11 was fine. The 19 wiped away everything else that I had. Okay, yeah. Then I, I only cast two. Uh, and then I'll cast one on Frand. Yeah, it's, sorry, the game lagged and I didn't think it went and then it double rolled. Yeah, because I would have had I had thirty subduals, so eleven and nineteen would have cleared my subdual, and my subdual was higher than my physical okay. damage. So that, those two were perfect. Cool. I cast three cure moderates on the party, and we're all pretty healed up. Uh, maybe Fox wants to heal too. Why not? Sure. <laughs> my spells aren't being used for other stuff. I'll do a cure light on Fox. Okay. Um, I don't know. What do we do? Do we want to check to see if we can open the door back out? Just that might be a good idea. Yeah. Let's let's There's do no that. Harm in checking. Uh, so you guys are checking the, the door? The door back. Okay. It opens when you open it. And you see a uh, hall, just like the one you've been through. Does it, does it, does it have the, uh, the fleshy corpse on the ground? No. Oh, I was worried about that. Hmm. We'll just have to go forward. I feel yeah. a little disoriented. I do have some ink, though. So I'm going to put just a, a, a dab of ink on the uh, on the wall, just to show we've been here, in case weird stuff starts happening. Draw a little arrow, the direction that we went. Okay. Then we uh, go to the next door. You do so. Do you open the door? Uh, I'll wait for Guru to uh, check it out. I'll listen to it, even though I'm not expecting to hear anything. Okay. <laughs> I specifically look for traps with a plus half level bonus on it which I haven't really been adding in that much. But I am this time. Okay. You don't think it's trapped? Then I shall open access, the door. So I don't think it's trapped. You can see this one? Oh, yeah, I can see the door. Okay, good. They're cunningly hidden in the walls. The other one must have been a dwarven door. So I will open the door, prepared for another magical construct on the other. Okay. Uh, Aaron Axis, roll a percentage. Twelve. Okay. You open the door and there's a like T joint so you can go either left or right. And there are doors at the end. <laughs> I get the urge to try and map this, but I'm not so sure that uh, I'll accomplish much by doing so after seeing what we've seen. Good news though, it doesn't seem to have any enemies as you guys walk in. Ooh, it's that word seem that has me worried. <laughs> but uh, yes, make a choice. Or you can go back, either way. I think we liked left, was that correct? That is someone's philosophy. Then we shall follow that philosophy. I feel like there's two different philosophies on this. <laughs> Maybe or the, more, actually. The third hidden philosophy that only the Grand Masters know of. 
the philosophy of balance in all things. <laughs> if we're going to go left this time, we have to go right on the next T-intersection. And then I guess if we get really, really esoteric, there's the philosophy of division. Everybody picks away. Hmm. <laughs> we'll go left. Okay. Uh, so you're at another door. Do you open it? Um, I'll let Guru have a look. Because you know it's that one door that we don't even bother trying that's going to be trapped. Maybe. Is Gigi gonna check check the next door? Sure, 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 sure. Uh, Bhutan. I look for traps. Uh oh. No, you don't think it's trapped. It's fine. Like, Everything. Open fine. the door. All right. Uh, Gigi, roll a percentage. Oh. It's always exciting. 100. Dang. Nope. Okay. Uh, you guys step into a chamber. There's a door on the other side of the chamber. And there are three treasure chests, rather large ones, spread out in the chamber. I feel like this is a test of some kind. There's three chests, but are they all identical, or do they have distinguishing features on them? They're all identical. They're they're large chests. Is there anything around them that would be like? Nope. The chamber traps. is empty, aside from the ever burning tor torches you've been seeing in the halls. And the mimics. Oh, yes. I look for traps on the mimics. Or try and see if they're they're real. Um, the plus four only applies to finding traps, though. Oh. Um. Okay. We start with the closest one. You all assume in their mimics. Or at least trapped. The yeah. player is. Gigi's just looking. Yeah. I'm... I mean, that's true. I don't even know what a mimic is. Uh, Gigi, you, you're not sure. I'm not sure if they're trapped or I'm not sure if they're mimics. Or both. Uh, well, you don't think there's a trap, but... Uh... Okay. Yeah, you, you're not sure if you're conspiring that they're mimics, then that's that's your own conspiring. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll detect magic on the chest. Do any of them detect as magical? <clears throat> no. Okay, guys. There's three chests. I don't see anything weird. They don't seem to be magical. Good luck. I'll open the closest. Okay. Um, well, why don't you guys roll initiatives? Because something's going to happen. Oh. It was Maybe. full of imps. No. Maybe we shouldn't be poking through other people's stuff. I suppose. I mean, does this stuff belong to someone? Oh, <laughs> they are. They went through the effort of locking or putting them in chests. Somebody did. Yeah, but no one is here. There was no welcome mat that said, or mailbox on the tower that said this place belongs to someone. So how are we supposed to know? Well, we'll see how good that uh, defense holds up in a court of law. All 
Uh, okay. Um, so, Aranaxis, when yeah. you do that, hey, where'd it go? Hold on. I guess you're right next to it. Maybe um, there's swarms in the chest. The chest springs to life and seems to have teeth, and it looks like it's gonna actually bite you as a surprise. No. Oh my god. I have K. I. <laughs> I actually Ooh, wasn't expecting could have that. Seen this coming. <laughs> I was expecting traps, maybe. And uh, Islam attacks you, and with its hit, it it's also wacky. has an adhesive, which. Let me just pull that up. Check. You have to do a save or a reflex save. Oh, wait. Uh... Yeah, a reflex save. Reflex? Okay. Yeah. Is it a weak mimic? I got a nine. Uh, holding fast unique creatures um, and and Adhesive covered mimic automatically grapples any creature it hits with its slam attack. Oh, oh, okay. it sounds like it's automatic. Opponents so grappled cannot get free while the mimic is alive without moving I mean, the adhesive first. Again. Okay, so I guess maybe that happens on your turn for the reflex, but um, yeah. So this this thing like grows teeth and then like bites onto Aranaxis and. Uh, has it has air is this number two yeah okay oh number two. Oh, okay yeah i was expecting that all three of them would be mimics even less than just one uh well they were spread out throughout the room um, yeah. and nobody else said they were checking any of them so, so you don't know they they're just they're there. They might not be mimics at all. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> all right, surprise! That happens. Uh, surprise. Round one, Air Nexus. So I'm officially grappled. Is the case right? Yes, and the only okay. way to get out is a uh, a weapon. No, the reflex is for a weapon attacking it. Um, okay, strength check. Yeah, strength, strength. Okay. Mm. Do I bother with the strength check? You have to trust in your allies, I guess, at this point. <laughs> I think I'm going to try and beat on it once until it adheres my weapon. And then I'll try and strength check out. OK, I hit him. I hurt him. And then a reflex save? Or do I just take the one that I just rolled? Uh, the reflex is for um, a weapon attacking it. Yeah, I just hit him with my mace. Yeah. Then, yes. Yay! I thrust <laughs> it right in his mouth. 
your mace. I try and prop open, to the mimic. <laughs> open his maw with it. All right. Excellente. Next. Um, okay. This thing will maintain the grapple. What are these things? And then we're going to slam. Maybe someone will. Damn it. And then constrict. Oh, they are constrict. Oh, joy. Yay. It appears Aranaxis has been eaten Aranaxis alive. Aranaxis being hugged. By a box with teeth. They're very handsy. Uh, this one over here does nothing, boy. The huggers. Ah. Um, I mean, if the other chests are just still immobile chests, then I'm going to cast a bristle on my fox. Okay. I'm going to redirect a portion of its innate toughness away from its defenses and to its damage. So it's going to get minus two natural armor for plus two damage for the duration of the spell, which is a minute per level, so probably just this fight. Just these numbers. Okay. Uh, I take out my scepter for the bless bonus, and then that's my turn. Uh, Gigi? I have a plan. Okay. Ooh. I can reach Aranaxis from here, or is Aranaxis in the creature square? Uh, technically, you're adjacent to Aranaxis. I cast Freedom of Movement on Aranaxis. Oh, it's pretty powerful. Uh, I do not have the effect created. Let me just type that. Freedom of movement. And it lasts huh. tens per level. Freedom. Uh, Does that spell get you out of adhesive? Adhesives? It yep. makes you auto okay. succeed at any escape artist grapple. And also, yeah, you can't be held trapped by anything like that. All right. Then you're free. Uh, how do I do this? 10 times caster level. There we go. Uh, and then I'll move, or five foot step. I guess, yeah, I, I have my just my staff out because I'm casting spells. And then I'll five foot step. But no, I don't want to get close. I'll move away. Don't Don't eat me, chest. Uh, I'll go here. Okay, that's it. Okay. Well, I think Aerodax's weapon might still be stuck to the mimic. Yeah, I'm going to assume that it is. There's the text of the spell in case we see something interesting. All right. Well, this chest does something. It springs to life and charges at friend. Yeah. 
I'm still flat footed, but nice. It's probably gonna hit me. Although my flat footed AC is only two lower than my normal AC. Uh, I, I swear I was targeting you. Uh. All right. I miss. FF. Flat footed. I miss. Yep. Yeah. My flat footed AC is 23. So. With Mage Arbor. No, Herb said <laughs> sure. Because it's like. I have to do math. All right. Fox. Uh, okay. The Fox is going to attack one of these. Um, let's see. Aaron Axis has taken more damage, so help this friend. And you know, we're gonna we're gonna get into a flank, because the fox can do that. It's it knows that trick. So that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna run around behind the the mimic. Um, is the mimic and air nexus no longer grappled technically? Yes, I believe yep. that's uh, correct. No, not until wait. Did he have his oh, turn? Do I actually just do I actually no, have to it. make a check or something? I yeah, think so they're the already not creature grappling. Creature will automatically fail its grapple check, and air nexus will automatically succeed at escape grapple or escape artist but if neither of them have had their turn yet i think they're still grappled hmm. what's is your spell, text spell is in chat it, the text for it's in chat yeah so i guess we can look at this here so based on my interpretation they are still grappled until one of them have their turn in which case it would automatically fail Unless the grapple is because of the magical adhesive stuff, then maybe it would just end right now. I, I wasn't sure. Is, is the mimic grappling because he's biting or because of the acid adhesive-y stuff? Oh, he's chewing on Aaron Axis. Yeah, it's that's the that. adhesive that's grappling. I that might know. be a Game Master call. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, such as paralysis, solid box, slow, and web. I think. Yeah, I think this will work. Aranaxis would be just kind of free from it. I don't know. You might have to make a, a check with the bonus, but. The bonus being it auto succeeds. So, yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. question is, is it free before the check or after the check? I, I think ultimately it doesn't really matter. I mean, freedom of movement beats grapple. Well, um, the question is, does the mimic get its attack of opportunity? Yeah, what, I, I know. I, I don't think it actually matters. Maybe, maybe it does, but... I'm willing to just roll whatever whatever secret decides. Yep. Well, it's not... I think it's unclear. Uh, well, no. It, what is your spell? Is it automatic? Is it like instantaneous? Is that the casting of it? Instantaneous? Uh, well, I mean, it has a duration because it is an effect that lasts. Yeah, it, it is on me right now and it'll last for 10 minutes per level. It's quite a while. Okay. Then, yeah, I think that happens on your turn or whatnot. Okay. So, uh, so the fox does not get attacked while it goes around. Okay, then it's going to bite. And I believe there's no flank since Air Nexus is still grappled. Right. Okay. It'll just attack. So 
Oh, look at that, 20. No. Oh. So now it'll do its damage. Bam. Damage. It's bristling. Mm -hmm. Ah, Fran. Uh, I guess I'll fight back against the stupid mimic. Um, the defensive spin. Okay. No, I missed. Oh. Shouldn't have called him stupid. Alright, well, I hit one attack. Um, I hit two attacks, actually. I'm going to iterate oh. as well. Oh, I found it's AC, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have to make, like, a check for hitting... Oh, this shouldn't have acid damage. Um, oh, it looks like actually it's immune to acid. Whoops. I don't think I'm supposed to know that, but... Uh, you're just... You're not using a weapon. Uh, just my fists. Yeah, you're you're good. Okay. And then I'll, uh... Roll my other damage. Alright. It's my turn. Okay. Uh, round two. Aaron Axis. Um, I guess you're free now. I still have to make the attempt? Is that right? It'll automatically succeed? But I actually have to go the through the motions. other thing you could do, if you want, is you could delay your turn until after the mimic. It will automatically fail to maintain fail. the grapple. And then you don't have to spend your action to escape. But you will, you know, go after him. So, you know, take that for what you want. Hmm. Because I don't have a weapon in hand either. <laughs> Not right now. You do you. Doesn't That's really a matter. Standard action. I will kill you if you get hurt. Too bad. Uh, I think I'll just I'll slip out of its grasp as a standard. Okay. Um, You're free to move. And then... Uh, Uh, I'll use my Oh no, I got rid of my masterwork club. Hmm. I'll pull out my hand axe just so I'm threatening for the fox. And that'll be it. Uh, well, it's going to go after you again. It's going to slam into you. Okay. It hits. Um, but I guess you automatically succeed to not getting stuck to it? Yes, I believe that's correct. All right. But that still hurts. Yes. <laughs> the other one seems to spring to life and charges at boy. And uh, let's see here. Gotta get my charge effect. And it hits boy from the backside. And, uh, you're automatically stuck to it now. 
Uh, okay. Boy, I'll save you. <laughs> Mimics are jerks, yo. Alright. Boy, you are grappled by this adhesive to this mimic and it's gnawing on you. Boy, I'll save you. Yeah? How, how do you want to do that? <laughs> just, just delay. Just delay? Okay, I'll, I'll delay. Just let it chew on you for a couple of seconds. I long. cast free movement on boy! Okay, and then I'll, uh... Move up here so I can be that in the range of quite people. generous. But the only fourth level spells I have are freedom of movement, fear from my mystery, and cure critical that you get automatically for being oracle. So this is a pretty good use of the spell slot. Okay, um, you are free to. Uh, I guess it's me. Make an action to free yourself from this. Oh, well, I have freedom of movement now. Right. So that's what we were saying is freedom of movement doesn't actually free you. It just makes you auto-succeed yeah. at a grapple or escape archer for it to fail at the maintain grapple. Right. So if you don't want to take that escape, you could technically do something else and stay grappled. Yeah, freedom of movement's better cast before the grapple happens, but yeah. I'm having to be reactive here. Um... I will move away. You're gonna escape artist or get out of the grapple, then move? Yes. Which will provoke. I could just five foot step. That you can. Uh, let me get the grapple off him. Okay. Let's I should see. have started casting freedom of movement once we saw the chest, <laughs> but uh, I mean, yeah, that would have been a little bit well, too we metagamey. Know. There was yeah. no that would have been too metagamey. Okay. <laughs> I mean, technically, nobody, none of us knows what these are. Paranoia yeah, is paranoia. Either. If you're paranoid out of game, you can be paranoid in game. If you want to waste yeah. a spell I mean, on it I'm... and then find out they weren't mimics, say hey, yeah. Yeah, it's also it lasts over an hour on <laughs> other people, <True>. so like. <laughs> Not a bad buff to just throw up at the beginning of the tower and have. Have it we met any huge animals? Huge animals? Not mm. recently, no. Darn. Maybe like not even any. Well, bears. dire lions and stuff, right? Bears are large. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. I not could really become any. bear. Where I come from, we have particularly large goats. <laughs> Where I come from, we have particularly uh, large right, ponies. Huge. Attack, friend. It misses. Yeah, take that. Just don't get hit, and then you never have to <laughs> get right, out Fox. of grapple. Uh, the fox will attack with a flank. I bet my CMD is by far the highest in the party. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Very well, hey, right, mine's 17. Fight. That's his turn. Mine's uh, 30. <laughs> yep. Yeah, just monk things. Oh, because your monk wisdom bonus applies to CMD. Correct. And you have your strength and dex. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Alright, friend. Alright, we're gonna try to finish off this mimic, I guess. Um, No style strike for this first attack. And I'm hoping to finish off this mimic. Alright, here it goes. Okay. Uh, I'll move over to punch the other one. This one I'll use a style strike on, though. Okay. And then I need one more attack. 
that one misses. All right, but the important part is I go with the defensive spin. So that's my turn. Now my CMD's 34. Uh, round three, Aaron Axis. Hmm. I think. I'm going to cast defensively DC huh. 21. Okay. No, uh, was I? Yes, that was. I power courses through my blood. Oh boy. No, that's Aranaxis. And increasing the DC doesn't do much. Then I am going to which uh, one of these is down, right? Mimic one. That one. Okay. Ready for some nonsense. Sorry, that didn't work. Um, so you're provoking? No? Okay. Oh. You're running free and ah. over. Yeah. Okay, just that. Counted this out a moment ago. Oh, right. That's what I did. Right? 15. Yeah. 30. There we go. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, so this one will attack you. I think I have you targeted right now. Okay. Hiya. Ah, I hit. Okay. Which means you're automatically stuck to him. But you're free to move! Well, I'm free. But you're still going to take damage. No. Oh. Okay. That's one. My glowing blue blood splashes on him, burning away at its weird corrupt flesh oh, and sickening him. Assuming he can be sick. Uh... Where were you stopping at again? But where exactly where I started? I'm just bouncing back and forth between the two. Is that oh, is that so? Yes. Uh, okay. Well, then the other one will attack you as well. That is the plan. Uh, oh, it hits. Resistant to what? Why are there two rolls? <laughs> oh, because apparently I'm targeting myself. Okay, just that. Uh -huh. Did that happen the first one? Kind of. I think you only damaged yourself. From... Yeah, it looks like Matt. Okay, I messed that a lot. Okay, just sec here. Although I think they resisted it. Yeah, apparently they have resist acid, which is really unfortunate. So that didn't work. <laughs> oh, we learned something. But I did <laughs> learn something. I don't actually have knowledge to engineering, so there's no other way I could have gotten that information. No, I don't think anybody does. Oh, yeah, Lord. same. Okay. That is a thing, and it happened. It happened. All right. Uh, sickened, but still alive. 
Uh, it's going to keep attacking you. Okay. Why acid, though? That's a weird thing. It automatically misses. There we go. Well, it's because they're, like, oozing of this adhesive. That... Yeah, I guess so. That makes it's sense. It's because they're meant to be put inside of and oozes. And acid doesn't, like, I don't know, it's protected by it or something. I don't know. Imagine mimics inside an ooze. So the ooze consumes you, and then the mimic consumes right. you. <laughs> oh, sure, well, our ooze. original target ran away, but we have a new target, so it's going to attack Fran. And it misses. Yeah. All right, Gigi. Um, I think Aaron Aaron is looking pretty here. hurt. So I'm going to heal Aaron Axis. I heal you a lot. <laughs> yep. That... That's a, yeah, good roll. Man, I, I I actually enjoy this job. It's not bad. Shouldn't that be a plus eight though? Uh did I do a whoopsies? I'm caster level seven. Yeah. I, I forgot to update that on my so everything should be like a little bit stronger, but it's fine. Yeah, don't worry it, about it. It doesn't affect much. Uh there was weird feet. Yeah. That if you overheal, if you get overhealed, you get to keep half of the overheal as temporary hit points for a little while. Oh, that would be neat. Considering right. taking it, but there was something weird about it which made me change my mind. But the concept was kind of interesting. Yeah. I'd do that on like the Healy Domain Cleric. Like it's like empowered heals automatically. Oh, boy. Um, I am going to. There's two up. Let's take out that wand and heal ourselves. There's not too much damage out, thankfully. Yep, I'll just heal myself. Nice. Now that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, Fox. It will bite with a flank. Ooh. It critically bites. Launch. Ooh. Alright, it's his turn. Uh, Fran. Mimic sits All there. Right. Trying to defensive spin here. Mouth. Might not matter, but there's the only one up. Ah, uh, if only yeah. I had improved. Wait, do I have improved critical or anything? I don't think I do. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. If only. Oh well. Look at that, another nineteen. Boom. All right, get out of here. No, you know mimics aren't constructs, so some of them seem to just be uh, bleeding, but somehow breathing. Do you uh, finish them off? Wait, these aren't constructs? I have no idea what these are. What are these things? I think we should go be them. They do seem like they might be dangerous predators. <laughs> <laughs> True. Ah, uh, yeah, these these abominations. I'll I'll finish them off. We don't want other people wandering into them. And I hope you get your uh, mace back off of this thing. Oh yeah, does it unstick? That was 
that that that's a valuable mace. I think that's enough actually to pull it off. First try, make it look easy. <laughs> Um, the adhesive will, uh, anything attached to it will come off after five rounds of it okay. being dead. So if your car keys got stuck to it or something, you can get those back. <laughs> My car keys did get stuck to it, in fact. <laughs> I think I get it back before those five rounds just with that strength check, though, so. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, take that, Mimic. How do you like me now, Mimic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So don't poke the chest. Uh, Is there any loot inside of the chest? Uh, no. It's all just acid grossness. I'm Dang not it. Guts and... Cut them open. Ew. It's some sort of weird anatomy. It's very... Weird. I guess I actually can take improved critical next level. It's an abomination to nature. Uh, is there anything else in this room? I think when we came in, we heard it was just three chests and torches, right? That's yeah. it. Yep. Okay. Well. And the door on the uh, other we side. Move on. At least this is a very one-dimensional place, besides like the one place we had a fork. I think. Yes. There's a T intersection that we went past. So, uh, if we're ready, let's open the next door. That's ready check in the dungeon. I'll yeah. open the next door. All right. I'll just Leroy Jenkins this. All right. You do so. <laughs> Uh, you don't think it's trapped. Okay. Uh, did I have GG roll yet? I rolled for this. You the, did, the, yes. I rolled a 54. All right. uh, friend, <laughs> roll a perception. Okay. Uh, you guys get to another fork. Left okay. or right. You reach a fork, take it. Let's sure. stick to the pretty, left. Pretty sure to those are the directions that we were given. If you, if you come to a fork, take it. head left okay <laughs> left is a good direction uh there's a door you, uh, you open it yes okay uh you do so uh boy roll a percentage all right it just seems to be a chamber with a door on the other end you don't see anything in the room other than the ever-burning torches Yeah, I'm suspicious now. One moment. I'm going to cast the invisibility. Take a look in the room. So I'm paranoid now. Hey, you don't see anything invisible. Okay. Then I will head to the next door. Okay, uh, as you guys cross the room, something reveals itself. Hmm? Comes through the wall, 
as an incorporeal creature. Go ahead and roll initiatives. I see my Yay. paranoia. It's not paranoia if it's true. <laughs> this is uh, an interesting tower. Every room is full of surprises. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. Fox rolled the D100? Okay. This is all Fox's fault. <laughs> uh, is Pounce technically uh, a charge? Like it can only be used. Well, it can be used at the end of a charge as part of a charge. Right, it's, it's charging through the wall incorporeally. How's Aaron act as HP double mine? What the hell? Did I forget to add HP or something? Um, my HP is higher than everybody's because that's I've been focusing heavily on it. When when like your whole build is HP. designed around hit point tanking, you need hit points. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna redo the math on my health and just make sure. All right. Oh, it's because I'm taking favorite class at every level too for my curse. This dark being comes through the wall and bites or tries to strike uh, the fox with a pounce. Uh. Do I have, why do I have, do I have friend targeted? Why does that say that? It's probably my initiative. Target. Oh, no, I, I had you, you were on the combat tracker when I applied charge to it. So as it says, Fran applied charge to it. So yeah. anyways, the text was weird. Oh yeah, my um, thought is definitely wrong. What the hell? But it does show that I'm targeting the fox, but for some reason it didn't. I I didn't add health for two whole levels. <laughs> All right. Uh, the fox okay. is going to take um, a critical hit. I get seven per level, and I my health was fourteen lower than it was supposed to be. So you forgot a caster level and two hit two levels worth of hit points. Yep. <laughs> um, this bite doesn't say it has grab, so I don't. What's the point of pounce without grab? Pounce lets you like full attack, right? From distance. At at the end of a charge, you can full attack. Yeah. Incorporeal things generally can't grab physical That's objects. That's true. That's true. Unless so... they have a ability. I'm supposed to initiate. That means I get the two claw attacks as well. Um. You, you had already rolled a 15 on initiative. Oh, wait. Was that? Oh, I forgot. I saw people rolling initiative. I just assumed I needed to. Um, Secret, can you set me to 15, please? Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, where are you now at the top? Uh, so both the claws also hit Fox. Fox is not having a good time. What the Fox? It's weird, I have him targeted and it's not doing damage to him, but I retarget him still. Did Fox take damage? Do you see any? I see some damage on there. Okay. Fox is taking 23 wounds right now. But it might be just from the first attack. It could be from 15 in the chat log. And so I don't know if the other one's hit. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he, yeah, Fox was wounded from last in the fight. The chat so log, I see. Went through. I see the to hit rolls, but I don't see any damage rolls. There it goes. There it goes. No, Fox. What are we gonna do without your news? Okay, that was it. Surprise round. Uh, Fox, it's your turn. Um, let's see. This thing looks pretty unusual. Yeah, kind of incorporeal. Um, so I don't think it has. Uh, I don't. Hmm. It's going to move back and withdraw. Yeah, this isn't on the level of so scary that your animal has to make checks. Um, it's technically, apparently not scary. Uh, full withdrawal? Yeah. Okay, you do so. That's its turn. Alright. Well, this guy rolled well on the initiative. Uh, I guess we're going to move up to front then. And maybe targeting you will do something. Uh, it five foot steps up and it's going to full round front. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, just a claw. I think it has pretty high bonuses. <laughs> also, not claw attack feels applies. kind of cold to the touch. Okay. I see incorporeal touch. Okay, GG. Okay, um, knowledge. Religion, arcana. Oh, uh, this, uh, out, uh, uh, planes? Planes. I have a point in planes. planes. All sorts of weird stuff in here. I probably don't know too much other than it's spooky wooky. Yeah, you just know it's an outsider. Okay. It's also incorporeal, obviously. Yeah. That is potentially problematic. Ah, uh, this should work. I think. I'm going to cast Bestow Curse and then five foot step up and try and deliver it. Yeah, let's do that. So that's going to be a melee touch attack. Which I don't know. I I think curses should just work on things. I I don't know. <laughs> uh, find out. Here's an attack. It's not against touch, but it's gonna miss anyways. How do I, I guess, do I not have that set up? I guess we won't find out yet. Huh. I need to set up my touch attack. But anyways, do I maintain the charge on that? I don't remember yes yeah you haven't okay. touched so you didn't deliver okay cool that's my turn and i'll s set up the attack in the meantime okay uh air nexus okay uh um knowledge planes is something i don't have so another creature okay. that i don't know what it does oh no so i'm going to make another ill-informed decision here we go. I sheathe myself in a fiery aura. Oh. Wish. Uh, I'll spend an arcane point on that. And then I will move. To here. 
Uh. Okay, it will attack. Okay. Uh, with a claw, or a bite, I guess, because I rolled a bite. Yeah, the targeting's not real working correctly. Hmm. Oh well, I just jog it. Um, looks like it hits. Just barely, but it does. Okay, uh, does it have spell resistance? I guess that happens immediately. If you roll the cast to where it forces that, it'll you'll find out. Okay, so the yeah, they have to overcome its resistance, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you failed the caster level check. Okay, and then on my other one, uh, darn, this isn't set up with a casting button because it was. Um, Does it force a save for anything? No, there's no save. It's just damage. I'm just going to roll a d20. Uh, I did boost its caster level, though, so that should help in this case. Okay. Eh, 18? To get past caster level? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it succeeded. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's see if this does anything. Yay! Uh, okay. That's it. My my grand schemes have been thwarted time and time again. Quasis! <laughs> this guardian seems to know me so well, seeking out my weaknesses at every turn. Um, that's an 11, right? Like fire damage? Yep. Yes. But it's incorporeal, so he only oh. takes damage. Oh, okay. So he took no damage. Yeah. Uh, ouch. <laughs> I, I think I know what this is. All right. Boy. I, I know stacking resistances on top of incorporeal is just nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, people, but you are where you are. So uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, what's going on? For me? Oh, there you are, yes. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So nobody's identified it yet, right? Uh, nobody has planes. Oh. I, I tried, but I didn't get much because I only have one point in it. I know it is a spooky ghost outsider. That's that's all I not know. Not a ghost. He knows it's not undead. Oh, it's it's sorry. an outsider that's incorporeal. By it's... ghost, I meant incorporeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I want to play as a ghost sometime. That'd be fun. Um, etherealness is almost like incor is is essentially incorporeal. I think yeah, I need one. Both of them can go through walls, right? Yes. So that, that breaks a lot of stuff. Which I think is why Etherealness is like 7th or 8th level or something. I, I have a plan. I will play a character who has been permanently invisibled. Greater invisibled. This is tricky. That way I can't go through stalker. walls. Yeah. Yep, there's there's this shadowy thing attacking y'all. 
Because if it's incorporeal, the only magical things are going to hurt it. Uh, yeah. sort of. Yeah. This sucks. So, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> It'll take half damage. I'll be fine. Uh. The, uh, the curse has a 50-50 chance of landing on it. When... If you do I can to curse it. it to help. I'm going to pull out the one of cure moderate wounds and kill my fox. See, so normally good. positive energy is one way to get around incorporeal. That's because actually normally that's really they're good undead, idea. but th this yeah. oh, this it won't thing. work on this. Yeah, yeah there okay. are some things that are not. Yeah, so don't heal it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not not everything that's incorporeal is undead. Just you know, most of them are. Yeah. You got a fuzz on your microphone. I don't. I don't know if it's. Something contact or something, but yeah, I hear buzz when you talk. That yeah, yeah, it's Matt. Yeah, it sounds like uh, like I don't know, the static kind of from a TV, <laughs> old school That's like weird. snow fuzz kind of. I could it's... try disconnecting from that Discord. Oh okay. Uh, is what do you? Uh, is that your turn? Uh, hello. That's still doing still it. Still sounds like it, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. It's not it. like awful, but it's definitely very noticeable. Uh, how about now? Better. That's better. I think you fixed okay. it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast Cure Moderate Wounds. That will be my turn. Uh Heal the fox. You, you teach your fox how to heal. <laughs> yeah, Alright, jeez, nice. you selected two. Just take that away. Uh, yeah, oh, I wasn't friend. hurt at all, so it's fine. Alright, well, I got a flank technically, right? Yeah. Alright, and this thing did hit me, which is not very nice, so... Um... Hitting is rude. Yeah, so I'm gonna activate my dragon style and I'm uh, I'm attack. I'm gonna do defensive spin. Oh, that's true. My mace is actually magical, so it does. Yeah, I do flank. Okay. Take that. You hit. Yeah, and then I'll do two All more. Right. Two more attacks. It's surprised by the damage you cause it. Oh, yeah, well, how about... Yeah. Uh, and then I also have this on now. All right. Bring it on, whatever you are. Okay, and um, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay, round two. Fuck. Let's see. Go in or not. I guess we'll go in. We'll take a a bite. Take a bite out of crap. But yeah, the <laughs> fox attacks actually are magical at the moment. Because it's got greater magic fang on it. Probably won't do that much damage, though, if we do hit. But we'll see. Okay. That's its turn. If it's turn. All right, friend. You don't like that. He's gonna full round you. Okay. Rip you with a bite and two claws. Attempt to at least. Got you all the times. Yeah, its attack bonus is pretty high. First phase of damage doesn't seem to be. Yeah, and I think there. it's like cold damage, so theoretically, if you had like communal resist energy cold, you'd basically be immune to this thing. All right.
Ah, uh, GG. Okay, I will try and deliver the curse. Um, do I know? Does this thing use con for health or charisma for health? And you don't know. You weren't able to identify. But I know that it's ethereal and not undead. No, not ethereal. Incorporeal. I know it's incorporeal and not undead. So doesn't that tell me that much or not? I, mean, like, I the player don't, don't know. know. But I you feel can like... guess. You can assume. Right, whatever. I'll just do the other one. I, I, I try and deliver the curse. It probably hits. I think all we yes. know for sure is it probably doesn't have strength. Okay, <laughs> well, it gets that effect. Uh, okay, um, you need to get a spell that has spell resistance, yes, so I need a caster. Oh, check. it has SR? Oh. Yeah. Yes, also, there's a, save. Oh, well. there's a save for that spell, too. Uh, okay, you get past the SR. Uh, he fails the save. Oh, he's failed the save, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the that part the was save was built into the attack. I guess I don't know what happened. There is when you when you cast your caster level. Oh no, I did the cast. It was built in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so I need to do attack then cast. Yeah, cast will line. roll the whole line. Oh, cast does well the attack the too. Level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did? Something is weird there. I don't know what happened in that roll. Because the attack was so different between what I did and that one. It looks like it's the same, but they're both plus sixes. They just rolled lower. Oh, because the 18 was caster level check, not attack. Okay. I was confused. Yeah. Yeah, your okay, that's so right. Your cast, cast button should co cover it all. Roll. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Now I know, but yeah, I I think I curse it still. Yes. So it gets minus four on a bunch of stuff. Take that, demon, and then I'll five foot step back here to be more safe because I'm scared. All right. Haha! <laughs> Take that! Don't hurt me. <laughs> I'm just a poor little Gigi. Aaron Axis. I was all excited because I was thinking, oh, I got this wand of magic missile that can go through its incorporealness. And then it's like, ah, but it's got spell resistance against a level uh, one caster level one spell. Yeah. Low caster so, level problems. So I'm, what is this creature? It has yes, SR. It has yeah, it's everything. resistance. It has... Incorporeal. Jeez. It also has a permanent curse. It now has a permanent <laughs> curse. Take that. True. I miss. True. All right, boy. Uh, I'm going to five foot step and cure moderate on my fox again. With my wand. Okay, and that's my turn. Ah, uh, friend. All right, let me use this flank again. Do um defensive spin as well for the first attack. Failed. Okay. Um, I'm also gonna. I think for the next attack, I'm gonna try stunning fist. I don't know if that'll actually work, but oh no, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Oh man. Yeah, it's immune to crits anyway. Um, I'll do. I'll use one key point to do one more attack. 
can I actually put the flanking bonus in? All right. All right, that's my turn. Round three, Fox. It'll take an attack. Um, let's try it. Uh, <laughs> it's going to <laughs> Withdraw. No, can't do that. <laughs> uh, full draw um, through the wall, and uh, it doesn't look like any of you guys have reach, so it's not gonna provoke. And you don't see him ever again. Or do you? I don't know. At least not for now. Hmm. No. A cursed something is on the loose. At least, yeah, at least it's cursed. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Uh, is there anything in this room? No. Oh my god, we're just on a monster killing spree. Well, I'm wondering, now this could go one of two ways. If we just rush through the room to the next one, will creatures of one room be stuck in their own room, or will we just end up triggering two encounters at once? Well, do you leave the door open? Well, the op the doors close behind us. Do they have opposable thumbs. <laughs> I don't know, I'm I'm okay with what we're doing. We're learning a lot. Well, we're definitely seeing a lot of things we've never seen before, and we know yeah. nothing about. True. I still can do a little heal action. I'm I'm about halfway on spell slots used up, a little bit less. Uh, than half. Yeah, I'm about I'm roughly the same. So I'm I'm gonna just keep going. This is good. We're ridding the area kind of of evil creatures and bad creatures. Like all the things we've fought have been really nasty creatures that shouldn't be in the world. Well, let's uh, let's push forward then to, through the next door. Yeah, okay. I look for traps on the door. All right. Uh, Bhutan. I got my one. Yay! I wasted you it on a perception don't check. Don't think there are traps. Then I'll open Guys, the door and perfectly safe. Take a look on the other side. Okay. Uh, I mean. Do something. Alrighty. You see a stairwell that goes Ooh. up. Hey, we're leveling up in a manner of speaking. Well, I'm going to get some water while you guys debate on whether or not to go up. Oh, we're going to go up. Oh, what? I said we don't go up. We should just turn around and head back now. This place is too dangerous for us. No, it's perfect. Ooh, it's a deadlock. We need tiebreaker.
Okay. Um, you guys go up? Yes. Yeah. All right. So. At the top of the stairwell, there is a door. I checked the door for traps. Okay. Uh, Bhutan. You don't think there are traps. Okay. It seems safe, guys. You open up the door. And you guys see... Um... Um... Anyway, okay. And I'm trying to get a map for you guys. You see grass and green shrubbery and bushes and there's honeydew, um, well not honeydew, but dew on the leaves as if it was a spring morning and it's kind of slightly chilly but it looks like uh, all the plant life here is in, in, in their growing stages of a uh, Spring, spring oh, this showers. This is a perfect place to rest on this floor. Huh. It's not raining now, but there's evidence that uh, it does get wet and cold here. I I don't get it. How this this doesn't make sense. Where are the walls? Are there actually walls still around this whole place, actually? is it a ceiling? Uh, When you guys step through the doorway and you look back, uh, you notice that, nope, there there are no walls. There's just, like, a doorway. <laughs> so yeah. it's like a portal, basically. Uh, I detect magic on the door. Is the door magical? You detect a lot of magic all around you. What about the door specifically? Can I tell? Uh, like, if you like narrow down and focus on it, you yes, yeah. you do detect magic on the door. Can I determine school of magic with an arcana? Uh, you're you're unsure. Yeah, my my one um, arcana rank. I apologize. Oh, like, what just happened? I I think we went through a portal door. I mean, I think all of them might be, might have been out of character but this is more obviously like we're yeah, not I don't know in about a, the other one. we're not in a structure anymore oh. and you've grown to twice now <laughs> you sure have eat uh, me i feel me. so powerful actually i mean there's nothing i don't actually anything. see it on this map we haven't actually heard <laughs> Anything about there being oh, uh, right now. <coughs> like the scale of this place? Okay, well, now now we're getting some scale. Yeah, I think the tower is not as big as the area we're in now. If I had to guess, I mean, it, it looks like we're just out in the open, right? There's no walls. Correct. That's what we uh -huh. were told. Yeah, I and mean, I think there's some trails weird that go off, and there's trees, you know, so it's not like you can see far in the distance. But do I know where we're at? Is this actually a signpost? Uh, with that knowledge, geography, you don't recognize this as a location in any of the books you've ever seen. Okay. Uh, the sign is blank. No. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to. I'm. I'm gonna dig a little bit. I want to see if this is actual soil. Okay. I'm gonna go see if there's like braille on the signs or something. I'll feel the feel the sign. Well, as far as you can tell, boys, it seems. Yeah, it's actual soil. I'll mm -hmm. look for trails attract. <clears throat> Odd. And I'll check the trees to see if they're healthy.
Okay. Uh, the trees seem as healthy as they would be with uh, plenty of spring rain falling down on them of lately. <coughs> Even Aaron Access can <coughs> tell that. Uh, for the perception, nothing standing out to you. You're not real sure. Seems like there's directions. Or you can go off the road if you want and you can go through the trees. Are the signs just like arrows pointing the roads? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's blank. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Um... <clears throat> We, we can see off in the horizon, right? If we look behind us, is there like a door behind us? Or just no. a trail? Just a trail and trees. It's not cold in here, though. Yeah. So, so you're maybe... kind of like in a forest, but it's like uh, sp spread out trees. Maybe it was supposed to be cold in here, and the tower put the cold out into the outside world. And we need to find a way to get it back in here, maybe. Or this is the spring that was stolen. But yeah, same idea. I don't really even know. Like, which is the more natural state of the world? Spring or winter? <laughs> well, for that area, it's spring. I guess. But is spring like a lack of winter or is winter a lack of spring? Oh, that's a good point. Like that's that's where I'm getting hung up, I guess. Maybe it I guess it doesn't have to be that like that though. I think that spring is more natural because I guess the they're just different. Fire I guess they're just different things. Like that. I think I'm just thinking about this wrong. Boy's probably just sitting there rolling his eyes. <clears throat> hmm. Of course, it's just a cycle. One neither dominant over the other. All right. Well, you got some choices. Left. I mean, left is like a fine default choice. If there's <laughs> no like other like, I don't know, things that are catching our attention. I don't think we see anything, yeah. The signs are blank. We can't see any tracks on the ground. There's no landmarks that make any are meaningful to us. Um... Are there like mountains in the rain distance, or is it just like flat? It's like a forest. Okay, so there's just trees. Yeah. With like some openings like this. I, I'm gonna I, make a marking in the ground where the door is. I gotta. I think we gotta like. I gotta get a better view. Um, I look for like the tallest tree, and I want to climb the tree. Yeah. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna take my. Uh, light pickaxe made out of the adamantine material, and I'm gonna dig like an X into the ground with it. I like, gotta find somewhere where I can see deep. the horizon. So All I'm right. hoping, like, if the door disappears, I can at least see that the X is there and we'll know we're in the right place. Right. <laughs> I, well, I'm paranoid the, uh, the door will disappear. Climb. Or do we auto climb? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I also do have a. Well, I think that includes the bonus for the climbing kit. Or no, it doesn't. Okay, so if I'm using a climbing kit, it might be actually higher, but... So I think I technically have a climber's kit. Which, uh... Yeah, so it's actually... That'd be like a 15. Okay. Um, you, you don't climb the uh, tallest tree because it's not really strong enough uh, to to hold a body, but you do climb the stronger tree and uh, get a good view, and it's just trees and trees and trees. You do see a horizon, but it's just trees. 
Okay, but it looks normal. But it's just like an endless forest in all directions. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, I'll climb back down and I'll, I'll say that. It's like, well, I did see her on horizon, but it looked pretty normal. It wasn't like a strange fog or anything. Uh, but I didn't see anything poking up out of the trees either. Okay. I guess we could just go based off of a direction. The sun is in the sky, right? Clouds, it's warm. Uh, it's like overcast. Um, oh, okay. But there's evidence of the sun being up there. It's it's like at it's kind of like at the one o'clock ish spot. For most worlds, who knows? This Problem world might is, be different. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we don't know what hemisphere we're in on a planet. What do you mean? The world's but, flat. Uh, it's up there, slightly at an <laughs> angle, not exactly directly above. But yeah. <clears throat> Is there any moths on any of the rocks or trees nearby? Yeah, yes. Is it on all sides or just on like one side? Uh, throughout the forest. Dang it, so we can't just go the direction the moss points. <laughs> That's what Spongebob taught me. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so if you guys are going left... Um... We'll go left. <laughs> I don't remember who we stopped at. Is it Aranax's turn? Yeah, I don't think I rolled yet. Percentage. Forty one. Okay, you guys can go ahead and roll like perceptions as you guys are probably cautiously going through the woods. Or are you? Oh, I'm being very perceptive. I still have uh, sea invisibility in Does case it seem it. like there's wildlife in the forest? I guess we'll find out with those perceptions. <coughs> I don't think I saw any birds or anything when I climbed up that tree. Okay, um, so I'm going to put you guys over here, because as you guys are taking this road, it's uh, moving you guys to where another crossroads is up there. Surprise. Um, <laughs> I don't know what order you guys want to be in. Uh, I will be in the back. Yeah, I'm usually up front with Fran. Uh -huh. I can be in the middle. <laughs> okay. Um, ooh, let's see, what we got it. Friend, with your uh, perception and GGs, um, you guys are able to react in a surprise round. All right. Okay. As you're gonna see a uh, a swarm. No. Yay. This nauseating carpet of wriggling white grubs undulates uh, outward in a pallid wave of hunger. I don't have a picture for it, so it's going to just be this. Uh, what is this shenanigans? Weather. We got mimics, we got 
incorporeal resistant things, spell resistant things. We have golems and now swarms all in one session. Hmm. I didn't realize we were in book five already. You you guys chose to come to <laughs> Spring <laughs> Tower. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Tower of Misfit Monsters. <clears throat> all the weird stuff. <laughs> uh, who else had the perceptions? Uh, all of you guys get to roll in a um, okay. surprise round. Yeah. Okay, so surprise. Did you guys roll initiatives? Uh, did you want us to roll now or after the surprise round? I now, guess. it's part matter. of... Surprise round is technically in initiative order. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> okay, uh, Fox, surprise action. Um, let's see. I don't think it wants to go in there. Um, I think its surprise action is just going to be to take a defensive stance. Like, go full defensive. You don't want to go on that? No. Alright, okay. Uh, friend. Um, okay, I'm going to see it's a surprise round, right? Yes, okay. I think I'm still going to use a key point to put up Draconic Fury. So that I can do acid damage because otherwise my fist can't hurt these. And hopefully the acid damage works. Hopefully they're not like immune to acid. Uh, and the question is, do I want to do like one attack? Or do I want to like move over to avoid everyone getting all swarmed at the same time? Mm. I think. I mean, I all have acted. So I'm going to move over to the other side of it. And right. if it comes out, if it decides it, wants, it needs to come after me, then <clears throat> at least I can take an attack opportunity on it. True. Uh, Aaron Axis. I'm going to five-foot step over here and pull out in uh, a flask of acid. Oh. Okay. Uh, but it's a surprise round, so that's all I can do. Yeah. All right, uh, boy. Okay, so these are these are a bunch of really, really small creatures, right? Um, to, 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 to fine. So I I have a spell here. It's gust of wind that creates a a 60 foot line now it says tiny or smaller creatures uh which we call it fine they, is they between diminutive and tiny right yeah so they they yeah. can't move against the wind would this effectively prevent the swarm from moving towards me well, it depends on how you direction the wind, but... Well, I mean, it would it would be like this. Pushing then, away. Yes. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to gust of wind. A 60-foot line. A gust of severe wind emanates from me. Is there an initial effect? Like, do they fly away with a roll? Uh, it says that they are 
Yes, it can push him away. Okay. Knocked prone, although I don't think these can be knocked prone. You can you knock a swarm prone, I guess. Oh. <laughs> no, they're immune to that. <clears throat> although it would be funny if all the little worms turned over in the back. But it says that they roll 1d4 times 10 feet, like, on the ground. Okay, yeah. Just gonna, like, push them past friends, maybe. Yeah. Brandon doesn't have a swarm bane clasp, does he? No. no. Unlucky. Do you? Nope. Oh. Okay, well, I guess they're not pushed away, but. They can't come towards you. Yeah, medium mm -hmm. or smaller creatures are unable to move against the force of the wind. Unless they succeed a DC 15 strength check. So they, I guess okay. they could do that. But yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's my turn. And GG, surprise. Yeah. Um, I have something I could do, but I don't know if I need to do it. Um, do I want to do that? Or do I have any other way to hurt them? Okay, I'm just going to use my thing. I will pull out the Elixir of Fire Breath that we received at some point. Okay. And uh, that's that's a move action, because i got to pull it out of my bag. Yep. All right. Uh, so, these things are being uh, pushed away. I guess their only option is to uh, move in the friend. And away from the wind. What is our move speed? Uh, oh. All right, I'll take my attack opportunity then. Yeah. Nope, I miss. Oh. Uh. All right, friends, go ahead and roll two, uh, wait. well, one fortitude for sure, and then a uh, reflex. Okay. Um... You are infested now <laughs> with these rot grub, and you're going to take some con damage uh, per round as the grubs burrow through and consume its uh, flesh effect continues as long victim remains in the swarm um, and rounds after they leave the swarm. Uh, let me roll that. So two con damage. Uh, okay. Which I don't think it's going to adjust my health automatically. I don't have to math it. All right. Fox. Um, I think we're just going to stay here. Don't want to touch the swarm of nasty grubs it'll hold action for now all right well i'll move out of the swarm like really far away <laughs> what do i is there any action i can do to get, try to get rid of the rock grub infestation i guess um because I'm basically that's what well, all I'm going to try to do is get them off me. There's a very specific way to do it, um, but I don't know if you know the way. Uh, 
Can you roll a... Uh, this is vermin. Is that just nature? I mean, I'm going to yeah. do whatever I can to try to get them off, so... Vermin or okay, nature. Yeah, yeah. I don't have knowledge nature, so... Yeah. But is there, like, a mechanic for... Is it, like, patty, throwing, like shaking them off myself? <laughs> um, what you are doing is not working. Okay. But well, I, um, I I, it seems I like that. there is a specific way that you would have to do it. Okay, well. Uh, I might just die to rock grub swarms. Uh, yeah. By failing a reflex save, in that case. Well, if, I mean, boy has knowledge of nature. He might be able to figure this out. Okay. Well, that's my turn. Uh, Aaron Axis. I'm tossing that acid acid flask on these guys. Okay. Um, this will be a touch attack. Mm -hmm. 13 touch. I, I don't have it set up. Yeah, if you want, oh, you can hit like, the okay. modifier thing or whatever. Um, nice. Even as a touch? Oh, wow. Okay. Unlucky. Uh, they take one point of splash damage. Okay. I'll pull out a second flask, and then I will five foot step back. And that's it for me. Oh boy. All right. Um, let's put some of these AOE spells to use. Do you want to knowledge nature this? Uh, sure. Okay. You saw all the bugs get all over Franz, and then Franz ran off. And you're willing to bet that some of these bugs have burrowed into him. And you think the only way to get those bugs out of him is to deal at least five points of damage to the victim in order to destroy them. Sorry, uh, do what? Like just hit him with my sword or something? No, uh, with energy damage, energy-based okay, attacks, um, no, including damage from negative energy. Energy-based attacks that hit the grubs that hit Frand? No, no, that hit Frand. That hit Frand. That kill the Fran. grubs inside him. Basically, in you're, bur skin. you're burning them out, yeah. Yeah, they're inside under his skin. I can do that to myself, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because I okay. have acid damage. But I, then again, I don't think you have any way to communicate that to me, so. <laughs> you can shout. I no, probably don't, but it's I'm going to I'm gonna cast Call Lightning. Oh, well, that's true. You can call Lightning on Fred. Ah, yes. I could. Uh, and it although, is overcast, I don't know if I want so to. That, that, uh, good time for Lightning Strikes. I don't know if I want to hit him with it, though. I don't know if in character I would know to f willingly fail the reflex save either. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna like, like, try and tend to him maybe the hell? after we kill mm -hmm. the big swarm. That seems to be the bigger issue. So it's it's stormy or what? No, it's just overcast. It's uh, not a storm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm gonna try and do the damages. You can maybe control weather, ha huh, huh? No. no. 
So we get 90 damage and uh, let's see. I don't think it recognizes this as being AoE damage, but it, it technically is. Uh, 50% more? I, I think so, if they work under normal swarm rules, because it's a, the effect is one, uh, which I'm going to call it. Yeah. It's a five foot wide, 30 foot long vertical It affects the lighting. square. That's fair. I, yeah. 50% more. There we go. Four more damage. Um, let's, uh move over here into the trees. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, our target ran off. The GM's trying to skip my turn, guys. Wait. Oh, Boy, and I hate it at the same time. Uh, <laughs> my target still ran off, though. Uh, GG. Uh, I'm going to drink this elixir of fire breath, which unfortunately will not be AOE damage, but I, is it a standard or move action to drink a thing? Standard, I, I believe. It's a standard. Unless okay, so I can't actually to... use it. This yeah, I don't have quick drinky thing. Wait, the fire breath is an AOE? What? No, it's like Scorching Ray. Oh. <laughs> that's, well, that's yeah. weird. Yeah, I didn't realize that till now, but it's the only thing I have anyways. Well, I it, I mean, I'm about to turn into a dragon myself if you want an AoE attack. I I guess I could do that instead of becoming instead of drinking the elixir. That yeah. might be better actually. This thing seemed a little more dangerous than I thought, so throwing acid flasks is not going to cut it. Yeah, I actually I don't want to waste the elixir on this because it's not AOE. So if if it's okay, can I just turn into a dragon? Uh, if you want, yeah. Okay. Did Boy tell us if this thing has any kind of uh, elemental resistances? I didn't Boyd say anything. Boy doesn't speak, so unless you're uh, an expert right. at body language, uh, yeah, you don't I don't know. know. Well, you they're are? they're like bugs, right? So I'll turn yeah. into fire, and I'll tell. Aranaxis, I'm gonna, or Aranaxis will see, I'm gonna turn into fire something. Um, give me form of the dragon. Uh, what does fire? We will turn into a swim. Red dragon has no movement. Oh, here, Brass Dragon has Burrow. Okay, yeah, we'll turn into a Brass Dragon. Okay. Uh, That's my turn, because I think that's a standard action. I guess I can move. I will be all dragon-like and move uh, back, because I'm scared. <laughs> the swarm double moves. I'll uh, move there. Towards their target friend. Hopefully I'll still be able to reach him. We'll see. Okay, Maybe round two. Uh, Fox. Uh, it's going to follow boy. Okay. Stay away from the, the swarm, but follow boy. That's his turn. All right, friend. Am I still taking constitution damage? Um, I think it's on its turn, but... uh. Well, I didn't take any on its turn, so... That two that I rolled? Oh, well, that was... Damage. That was when, I, when it initially attacked me, so I didn't... What about the turn it turn. just had, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Good, good point. Um, let's see. Kill me, GM. I want it. It's I don't, but I mean, I... I'm gonna roll something. <laughs> yeah, it's better to remember I am, now I am remember a... in three okay. rounds. Yeah, I am yeah. I am the uh, actual, like, rules lawyer kind of player. Like, I I remind people of this stuff even when it doesn't benefit me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no um, continue saving. So, yeah, it, you're stuck with it until you deal with them. So, that is going to be... Does it have, like, a potential thing point where it wears off maybe on its own too Possibly. i guess i don't i don't know i guess but... no this maybe uh you take one more con damage this round okay oh you're fine maybe it's d2 or something uh okay well uh all i do is move uh, you know away from it like while trying to get them off me but not knowing how you could so. you could run to the door to the portal door I don't even know that this is the same intersection, right? Maybe I, I can. This is a different one. This is a different intersection. Uh, oh, we're somewhere else. You'd okay. have to backtrack. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we traveled that far. Okay. Uh, you do so. Uh, Aaron Axis. Okay. I am going to stay form of the dragon. Okay. I turn into a blue dragon. And I will take to the air, since these things don't look like they can fly. And I will fly like 20 feet up and over here somewhere. Okay. And I'm done. Standard All action, right. move action. Uh, boy. I'm going to call down another bolt of lightning. Okay. So it'll take half. Where is my half damage? There we go. It takes five and then fifty percent again. Okay. And that's my turn. If it looks like it's staying over there. Uh GG. Okay. Um I will move over yonder and then target this thing with my sixty foot line of fire breath yeah so i think it just gets to roll a reflex save dc uh 22 which i can make it do actually because i have it set up okay aha it fails Thanks. so i'm gonna roll the damage without targeting it because we're gonna have to increase it or should i target it Go ahead and target. Okay. Let me edit this to be type fire. Hiya. So it takes that much plus since it's AOE, it should take another seventeen. Uh yeah, one second. Possible air nexus might not need to breathe after all. It's still up. Okay, good. Or not good, but good. <laughs> uh, all done. All right. Well, that hurt. It didn't like that. Um, and it's already like going in the direction of uh, Fran, and I don't think they're really consciously aware of a dragon hovering over them. So. Uh... They're gonna double move. Kill friend. Nah, they'll never reach me. <laughs> He's a monk. Silly, Round silly three. character. Uh, I, uh, uh, swarm thing. Bugs. Yeah. Um, it'll move forward just a bit so that it keeps the swarm within its within its sight. But okay. it'll stay defensive.
um, Fran. Uh, did I take more con damage, or is that off? Uh, oh yeah. Um, no, that's still on you because you haven't, like, you gotta hit yourself, I guess. <laughs> I, I, there's no way I'm ever gonna know that. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Like I said, I thought I heard when you described it at first something about it. Uh, for some number of rounds after you leave, you first described the infestation ability. So yeah, I was hoping I... that might just happen, but. I rolled that. I, I rolled that, and that'll that'll happen if that's probably what's going to happen. Because I don't think there's <laughs> any way I'm ever going to know to just attack myself non-lethally with yeah. And unless boy right. can somehow you do like take four you. con damage this time. It is a T4. four. Good lord. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let me plug that in. I got to figure out how much health that puts me at too as well. Yeah, try not to run too far from your team. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Well, find I don't you past think it matters. We can't, like, do anything, really. Okay. Like, boy can, yeah. but no one else knows. I don't know if boy even has any elemental or energy damage abilities. I mean, I you mean, mean other than right the lightning now. bolts last... he's been dropping every round for the last oh, that's three true. rounds? Okay, okay. Like... Yeah, but I'm going to make probably make the reflex save for that. And then I mean, I've like, got... The... Something else fuck? that somebody... does very small amount of elemental damage. Yeah, this, this is good. I like you. this. You, you do need five, though. All right, well, I'll just move It takes five points. Here. Yeah. Yes. 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 I don't know. I mean, an alchemist fire will do five points. Yeah. Maybe, but I mean, the problem is, is if you just throw an alchemist fire at me, I'm going to, like, evade it. Try and save, yeah. <laughs> so... You can choose not to evade. Yeah, but sure, but why am I going to know to do that? I don't know. Well, we, if we, 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 looked at you we can deal with that in a moment. Serious eyes. I, I just need to get <laughs> to him once he's, the whole swarm is dead. And then <laughs> just I, I need to you reassure time. him. No, I need, I need to reassure <laughs> him to let me just apply the alchemist fire to the rot grubs. Okay, well, I'll, I'll finish <laughs> off the, uh, the, the, the critters here. Um. Here we go. Oh, I forgot to actually apply this to myself. One sec. This combat brings this warm feeling to my heart. Yeah? Yeah. Man. All right. Oh, there, there you go. Boom! With a crack of lightning. The swarm explodes. Yeah, that, that's pretty dead. Yay! It's pretty dead. All right. Uh, with that being said, uh, friend is a distance from boy, and we got a couple. Well, uh, just a couple of rounds. Not knowing any better, I will turn to. Guru, I can get and say two. you need to help Fran. Actually, no, I, I agree. Can, I can run more than. I think we're in round like... still, right? Yeah. So I can run up to three times my speed, and I'm just gonna wave at Fran to get his attention. And GG? Uh, I will also run over to Frand. Fly? Uh, burrow. No, wait, what am I, dragon? Mm -hmm. I can burrow 30 feet, but I think since I only have 20 foot move speed, I can actually only burrow 20 feet. So can't I may you, as well just move. Can't you just fly? Just fly? Oh, I guess I can, but I don't know what my fly speed is. Oh, I can tell you. It is. That's weird. It doesn't mention flying anywhere. 60. Oh, it's 60 foot poor. Okay, okay. I see now. Okay, I will double fly over to Frand. And I'll. Uh, well, I'll be. 
like here, right next to him. Okay, friend. Uh, three con damage. Sure. Fun and interactive gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> We're in uh, I'm just happy it's not me. I'd be probably dead or close to it. I'm almost unconscious, actually. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I, I probably want to there. heal you if I can. Like, give some wounds. I don't really have anything to uh, contribute to this, I don't believe. Um,. No, I don't. Oh, wait. Do I have a... Because I don't know to do all of that, so... Okay, uh, I guess what I'm going to have to do is, because I need to actually access equipment, I'm going to spend my standard action transforming back. And that's it. Okay. okay. Uh, boy? Um, I guess, can I get up to Fran? As a move, yeah. Okay, I get up to Fran. Um, and then I'd like to retrieve the, uh, alchemist's fire. And I try to, like, I don't know. I motion for him to like stay there and sure. maybe stay calm. I think Fran is at the point where he's accepted his death. Oh no. He's feeling pretty weak. All right, so as a move and a move. Yeah. And GG. Uh, I can cast spells as dragon, right? Because like yes. dragons can normally yes. cast spells. So, yeah, I don't know how that technically works with my arcane bond object, but like it's inside me, so it should work? Question mark. Um, assuming that's the case, I'm gonna cast a cure. I want to make sure I get you to full HP that you can get to. So I'm going to cast a cure serious. Oh, I don't think the HP matters really, but. It will give. It. No, it, it does matter because when. It's a little bit of a buffer. When you take damage from boy, it's going to make it safer. Uh, yeah, but I would just. That would just knock me unconscious. Well, I don't want there to be any chance of you <laughs> getting accidentally killed. So I heal you to your full maximum HP with all the con damage you have. Okay. Okay, uh, friend, I'm sorry that I rolled the wrong dice, but, uh, one. One more con damage. Okay, well, it wasn't a four again, because that would have no. actually been permadeath. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that would have been less than ideal. Uh, Aranax is... What is the duration on this? Like, uh, well, I guess Long spoilers. Enough. Uh, you roll a one d six, and I rolled a six. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> and it starts after you move out of the swarm. So if you spend a couple of rounds in the swarm, it's well. I didn't do that. Of... I got out immediately, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, yes, I don't have anything to contribute to this. However, as was mentioned much earlier, I actually do have an item that protects me against critical hits. Oh, wow. <laughs> I will have to remember at some point in time. But that doesn't help anything now. So uh, <laughs> I, I'm just banking on, oh, you know what? OK. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm banking on boy. Okay. 
can delay and wait and see what boy. Yeah, does. I'll delay. Okay, <laughs> boy. All right. Well, it takes energy. To, there's no other way to get them out. That uh, yeah, that's what it says. Well, that's what I know, I guess. Yes. Okay, so uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna motion to Fran to you know stay still. I pull out the alchemist's fire flask, and I I'm going to just apply it to where the rot grubs are burrowing in. It could I do like a heal check to like maybe I don't know like somehow prevent Fran from taking the damage or all the damage or at least like guaranteedly like you know doing enough to kill the rot grubs. Um, you know that, uh, I guess I didn't get to this part, but rem it's technically a disease, so remove disease would also do it. Remove disease would do it. Okay, well, I, I actually do have remove disease, but I don't have it prepared right now. Yeah. I neutralize I poison. disease, actually. Oh no! What? I said I have immunity to disease. <laughs> immunity no. to disease offers no defense. Oh, oh what? Okay. It's sorry. Like... <laughs> so like remove a... disease cures it, but it's not a, technically a disease for that there... purpose. Yeah. Okay, no, okay. that that's that's fair. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. It's a it's 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 a thing about which I call it. Uh, it's a thing about remove disease in particular. Is the the spell says this spell also kills some hazards and parasites. Mm -hmm. It's just referencing that the spell references yeah, parasites. Yeah. No, I, I, I checks out. All right. Well, I mean, I'm gonna apply the alchemist flask to Frand, and I, okay. I want to get all of the damage in there to kill the rot grubs. What is that, a 1d6? or? It is, but I mean... Yeah. Does it have to be 5 damage all at once? Well, you, you know that you only have so many rounds. Like, we're technically in rounds, and you're pretty right. sure... But I mean, if I just, like... Like, when an alchemist flask, like, when you throw it at something... It's like we're, you're seeing like how much gets on it, right? Like I'm applying the whole thing directly to him. Yeah, he he just he's also gonna have to take six. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure I do enough to like actually get rid of them. Yeah. Okay, so I I do that. I apply okay. the whole alchemist's fire to him, okay. and the rock it starts burning your arms where they're burrowed at, and. Uh... You take six acid damage and uh, it kills the infestation. Fire. Okay. I'll put six fire damage on. And you'll just have to rest off that uh, con damage unless you have so other means. Yeah, I'm going out of con damage, yes. Oh, yeah, no, I'm complete. I basically can't fight now because yeah, I have we, we're, 20, we're camping here. 28 <laughs> total, 28 total hit points right now. And a plus four fortitude save. Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as it stays all nice and naturey, I guess there's worse places we could rest. Uh, does Guru have any of his healing left? Just to bring friend. Oh, I've got the wand. I mean, well, that's true. And if we're gonna I have rest, healing, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have lesser restoration as well. I did prepare one, and that would Which fill I up rest. the hit points anyway. So I, I don't. I can heal some. Let's see what we get off of you, friend. My guess is one. Four. You were correct. <laughs> yeah. No effect on my hit points. But do I have any other rest? But it means after night's rest, you'll get. After night's rest, I'll gain some hit points. That's true. 
I can help you get back more, actually. Thanks to my heal skill. Do druids get restoration? He, or lesser? Like, I think we only get lesser. Which that would, would but like, I, I don't that's know correct. that spell. Well, I, I know because you're an oracle, you didn't take it. So right, yeah. That's why I was wondering, because boy has the flexibility in a spell loadout, but I'm not sure what's on the druid list. They actually do not get restoration. Yeah. Or, or I, I remember we were, like, surprised when We were surprised about that with Mantis' and... character, yeah, because he didn't get it either, which was frustrating a little bit because we really needed restoration needed a lot of times and nobody could yeah. cast it. I think a lot of times, like later in the game, Henrik did it. Yeah, because I was wish. Me, like, I'm just going to get this limited wish or I'm going to get this wand of restoration. I'm just going to use it myself. Yeah. But yeah, we'll rest. And I mean, I'm going to overnight, which I'm going to call it you. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, yeah, druids, druids get the lesser version, which is something. Are you gonna um, use your your uh, grove? Um, I didn't prepare it because we were oh. going into a tower, and it does oh. not function indoors. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> but this is outside anyway. Seemingly, I don't know. I mean, if we're still technically indoors, it wouldn't work anyway. I uh, I have no idea. I feel like we're on like a demi plane or something out of character. Friend always doesn't know what a demi plane is, but yeah. <laughs> um, that's kind of what it feels like. But I don't know. All right. Um, then yeah, go ahead and roll perceptions for nighttime. You're in a strange place. I figure we're probably going to end here, right? Yeah, let me uh, buy I mean, a little think, bit of healing. I think I'm just sleeping through the night, right? Like, in order to get benefit <laughs> from yeah, overnight care or whatever. Yeah. I set up a lean-to and a little camp for everybody. And on the plus yeah. side, I think boys... Uh, boy could take all the watches. At least that's my understanding. I can? That works. I don't know. Do you actually... Is it always, are you, I used to. Does overnight care, like, require you to be up all night? Or yeah, it do does. Yeah, so I thought. So he's basically he's taking all the watches. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, let's do that. I mean, you well, guys maybe I, still could help I, with watches. I'm taking but, a watch. Yeah. I'm not gonna lay the solid at his feet. So, although, hold on, let me let me do this first. Um, before we rest overnight, I'm gonna use my heal skill to treat uh deadly wounds because because I have the uh the skill unlock for it. When I treat deadly wounds, the target recovers hit points and ability damage as if it had rested a full day. Hmm, okay. So you're going to get this full day of ability damage recovery and then the overnight. So how much is that? Three or four? You mean in like in total? Yeah. Uh, one for I think it's going to get one three. One for getting overnight care and one okay. for the heal check. So three, yeah. So I hit the DC 20 with my medical kit to treat deadly wounds so you'll get one back from that and um uh which call it normal hit points but i don't think you're missing any i'm not missing points, any really. hit points. so you get literally... one back from that and then overnight i'm going to give him overnight care so he recovers twice as many hit points and ability damage so the, yeah. Yeah, the total should be three and then you would be fatigued to the next one. i will be fatigued yes yeah can restoration oh. myself but i'm okay. probably going to do it to you Fatigue doesn't affect me too much, and I didn't use that many spells anyway. Yeah. Okay, well. Okay. Uh, you guys get through the night and nothing occurs. And this does seem to have a, a day-night cycle. Yeah, Brad probably looks convenient. Uh, a lot better in the next morning, but still looks like death. <laughs> yeah.
How much are you missing total? I have seven con damage still. Oof, yeah, that's. that's I was at eleven, so I mean, like I said, that's what I was saying. If if that last roll that Seeker did, if she'd rolled a four again, I would have actually died because I was at ten at that point, and I only have fourteen con. Dang. Yeah, that's quite a doozy. Oh, you know what? I can get my spells back. Yeah, clerics and druids don't need to rest overnight. A druid must spells. spend one hour each day in a trance-like meditation. Yeah. To get there. Okay, yeah, I don't actually need to like. Yeah, they're not wizards. rest per se. Yeah. So when when we wake, when everybody else wakes up and the overnight treatment is done, I am going to meditate on this rock with my my fox for an hour. It's kind of like me getting a little bit of sleep. Yeah. Okay. But he's still pretty, he's still fatigued. So that way I can prepare some restorations. I might as well prepare a couple just so that we get it all off of you. I'll take off. Let me see. Um, what do I not need? I'll take off Gust of Wind and Barkskin. Sure. Okay. I am awake now. Or, well, I've, I've done an hour's worth of meditation. I'm going to use the power of nature to try and get more of this damage off get of you. Get me back into fighting shape. Yeah. It's one. Oh, nice. That's three. Let's cast another one. Okay, hey, that's, that's, good that's all of it. And I have one more restoration just in case now. I can uh, unfatigue myself, I you guess. You can unfatigue yourself. Yeah. yeah, I'll just do that. I'll unfatigue myself. The power of magic. The, the power of nature. There's like a bunch of like ones that like that there's like, i i draw from basketball. the like the fertile nature of the soil i gathered back from uh what was it called gust gust yeah i sprinkle the fertilizing soil upon friend like the uh the villain in Shattered Star that you guys fought last book, that was one of the things that he did in, in the description is that he would he just stay up all night for his ritual and then he just cast Lesser Restoration on himself every morning. Huh. That is something that you could do, although I think that like if you did it for like an extended period of time, you might start to go like crazy. Yeah. Well fortunately he was already actually insane, so <laughs> Yeah, that's true. All right. I see you guys all balled up the north passage there. Is that the way you're going? I guess so. Are um, we or do we want to keep going the time? way we're going? <laughs> I don't care. Unless it there's something like... that seems different, I don't think we know which way to go. We were calling it for the evening or continuing on? Uh, I, I'd want to know. Are you guys heading north? Oh, okay. I think we're gonna. I guess, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't have any preference on which way we go. I sure, just we'll head north. To, I just we'll happen to north, run this way because sure. I didn't want to run. There's there's no indication way. of what direction we should go, so we'll go where we're. We'll, at. we'll we'll break we'll break protocol. Okay, that is correct. There's no indication of what direction to go. Yep, we'll go north. And after traveling north a bit, you come to yet another crossroads. It seems like this. Uh, uh, we're gonna just uh, I'm just gonna tell you all about it. Um, and you on a cliffhanger? Yeah. Actually, I think you guys will be more up here when this happens. She, 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 she likes to be in the back. Okay. You guys see. Three murders of uh, ravens. Actually, it's called no. a conspiracy of ravens. Oh, a conspiracy of ravens. Murders of crows. The murders of yeah, crows. Murder of and crows. A conspiracy of ravens. Parliament of yeah. owls. Yeah. <laughs> they got really creative with 
<laughs> with some things. Uh, so you guys can roll initiatives next session and uh, see see okay. what happens. This is bizarre. It's another yeah, form. It is. I like I've got board. more AOE. That's also, good. Also, the Raven Swarms, I think you can actually do weapon damage to. Yeah, yeah they're big enough. But okay. I'd probably want to by the Raven Swarms, though, because they blind you many, many, many rolls against blindness until you fail. Mm -hmm. Well, joke's on them. I have blind fight anyway. Nice. Ah, nice, yeah. Okay, Doki. Yep. Okay. Uh, so session. Uh, ooh. Um, I yeah, don't know. Are you guys gonna be here on the twenty ninth? I will be here uh, on the twenty ninth. December. I won't be Possibly? available. Possibly. You mean okay. for the rest of December? If we can't get together on the twenty ninth, then it's the fifth. Okay. I can do the fifth. Yeah. I'll go with that. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, but to be safe, fifth is good. I kind of figure that's I'm gonna end up doing the similar sort of thing for my game, because <laughs> uh, yeah, twenty third or the the thirtieth. I don't know. We'll yeah. I'm guessing that it just most... depends. No one in it, my always, family tells me what always... my plans are until I get home. Yeah, I mm -hmm. always just assume during the the those two weeks for the holidays that like you're just not gonna not gonna. But have we should games. do something for <laughs> New Year's. I feel like that's a tradition, right? We hang out on New Year's. Some of us, at least, well, it used to be until they took away. They took away Dominion, Dominion. and then it ruined everything. Yeah. <laughs> what did we do last year? I feel like I feel like you and I hung we out last say... year, but maybe oh, not. No, you were going to, but then you ended up. No, I ended up hanging with Max. I think. Yeah, yeah I, I, not, I think you did something, yeah. and then I just did nothing. Yeah, I ended up hanging. But yeah, out with we Max. should. Oh, we could do like a RAM if we want to do League or just. Gross. Out on Discord. You'll see. I guess. I guess that's the thing. I could end up doing some. I could end up hanging out with Max again or something too. But uh, get Max to play games with us online. Get him to play online. Yeah. Yeah. Some online video games. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well. Yep. So that's it for today. next game fifth. Yep. <laughs>